Hello and a warm welcome to our video series on the Synamix Safety Acceptance Test. So, what do we want to show you in this video? We want to explain to you how to perform an acceptance test of the safety drive functions on a real machine and what you need to consider after replacing components. In this first video, however, we'll start by explaining the normative fundamentals and requirements. The key question to be asked is, why do I need to perform an acceptance test at all? Let me put it this way. Various steps are necessary before you can obtain a CE marking for your machine. And one of these steps, an important one, is verification and validation. And what's the most time-consuming factor here? It's what's called the function test. This is essentially the test that determines whether the safety functions of your machine are implemented as previously specified. Where can you read all about this? The information can be found in the Machinery Directive or in the Harmonized Standards EN ISO 13849 Part 2 and EN 62061 Section 8 in each case. The next question that we're frequently asked is, who is actually responsible for this function test? The answer to this is also clearly defined in the Machinery Directive, the machine manufacturer. And then your machine manufacturer often approaches us and asks us, so how can I carry out such an acceptance test or function test and how can I document everything? If we take another look at the standards mentioned above, they cover the contents but not what form this documentation should take. This means there's no explanation of how it should be structured or even whether it should be written with pen and paper or using electronic media. And that's exactly where we at Siemens come in. We have a lot of experience in this area and can provide you with the right tools to perform the function test and document the results with a minimum of effort. For general machinery construction and for production machinery, this would be integrated in the start drive, the safety acceptance test. And for machine tools, in other words, wherever a cinemeric control is used, directly at the cinemeric operate. What's the result of the acceptance test? The acceptance test serves as proof that the safety functions of your machine have been fully and correctly parameterized, in other words, according to the specification of the safety functions. But before we now move on to the real machine for the acceptance test, it's important to satisfy a few requirements first. Firstly, the machine must be fully commissioned. Secondly, all the safety devices, such as emergency stop push buttons, must be connected and operational. And most importantly, make sure there's no one present in the hazardous area during performance of the acceptance test. That was the theory. Let's put it into practice. See you shortly in the next video. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.